It's time to get smart with your blog post ideas. So around once or twice a month, I always have an inspiration session where I come up with different content ideas for my blog, newsletter and YouTube channel. And to store these ideas, I use Evernote, which is what I'm going to show you in this video. And I use Evernote because it allows me to uh, keep everything in one place and I can access it from all of my different devices. I keep track of ideas for the four different categories on my blog, my newsletter, my YouTube channel, and any other projects that I want to keep a list of ideas for. I store a lot of information within Evernote, so when I'm running low on ideas, I'll be able to see that and then I can have a content inspiration session to get those lists full of ideas again. If you're not familiar with Evernote, then I highly suggest that you download the app or go and visit the website on your desktop and just have a play around with it. It's basically an online notebook where you have different notes within each notebook to help you stay organised and on track. So I'm actually going to start from scratch and show you how I set up Evernote to store all of my content ideas. So we'll head over to the computer in just a second and I will uh, share my screen with you and talk to you and basically just take you through the whole thing. But the first thing that you need to do, if you haven't done so already, is create yourself an account for Evernote. Um, and I just did this by signing up with my Google account and it took me less than 10 seconds to do. And I know that some people would rather be spontaneous with their blog and not plan it out, or they might like to prefer to keep their ideas um, on paper, but this is gonna save you so much time and make your life a hell of a lot easier, I promise. So we are going to start completely blank with nothing in it and what we're going to do is plan in advance for the upcoming month. So you're going to start off by adding a notebook called December Content Ideas. So we're going to go over to the left hand side, click notebooks and add a notebook and then you put your title in here. So you can call this notebook anything you want, anything that relates to what your list of notes or your various notes are going to be about, but in this instance we're going to call it December Content Ideas. And from here we're going to start making notes within this notebook. So first of all I'm going to create a different note for each of my different categories on my blog. So that's a good starting step to have a note for each of the different categories on your blog and now it comes to laying out and keeping track of all of your ideas. So obviously you want to list all of your ideas in each note within your content ideas notebook but you also want to keep track of it. So within each note we add a bullet point list but instead of bullet points we're actually going to add another list, we're going to add um, tick boxes. So I'll just go ahead and write down a few ideas I've got for the be productive category just to show you how it works. So here's an example of how your ideas might look when they're laid out. But then you might look back through them and think, oh, actually, that my idea might be best suited to another category. So what you can actually do is just um, copy whichever idea you think could be in another category and paste it into another notebook. And then when you're looking for ideas to add to your editorial calendar, you can copy and paste an idea. And when you've used it, you can just tick the box. So I never delete any ideas because they might spark other ideas. So that's why we use a tick box list. And you can actually do just the same for every category on your blog. So that's basically how you can use Evernote to store all of your blog post ideas. And again, you can use this method for your newsletter, your YouTube channel if you have one, even your social media channels and any other platform that you just want to keep 
a list of ideas for. But one thing that I do want to note is that I don't use Evernote for everything. Like, this doesn't act as my blogging to-do list. Um, I know some people do use it that way, and you can use it that way if you want to. You can even write blog posts within Evernote if that's what you want to do. Um, but I find that this is the method that works best for me. So now I'm going to show you how you can use Evernote on a sort of project basis and how you can stay on track for all your tasks. And in this example, I'm going to use the monthly magazine that I create called Blogging Breakthrough. But you can use this for if you have frequent guest posters or any other project that you have to work on. So this time I'm going to create a notebook called Blogging Breakthrough 2017. And within that, I'm going to have a note for each issue. So at the moment we are working on the uh, December issue, the final issue of the year. So I'm going to call this note December 2017. So in here I'm going to use the tick box list again, but this time I'm going to list out all the tasks I need to complete for the issue and all the content I need to send over to the designer. So here goes with the list. Okay, so as you can see, I've split each article into three different sections. Um, proofread, um, send to the designer, and pictures to send as well. So these show me exactly where I'm up to. And if someone emails me to tell me they can't write for the issue, again, I don't delete it. I just highlight it, and then I go up to the, um, the bar at the top, and... I just put a line through it so I can still see what's going on for each issue. I also always put the go live date in the note title too, just so I can keep track of all of my deadlines. But the main way that Evernote is going to be really effective for you is by just allowing you to keep track of everything. So keeping track when you use a blog post idea, keeping track when you get the article in your inbox. And by having all of your content ideas in one place, you can see how everything is linking together and how each of your ideas flows along from one another. So within a week, you can use one of your ideas to create a blog post. Then you can write an email to your mailing list that relates to that blog post. And then you can create a video for your YouTube channel that relates to those two things. And it just gives you an idea of the bigger picture when it comes to your content. This makes sure that you can concentrate on all the things your audience wants to know about and all the things that you want to talk about as a creator. But the point of it is that you can swap and change and tick and untick ideas in your schedule to make it work for you. So if there's something in your editorial calendar that you don't get around to creating, you can either move it around or delete it and then go back to your list in Evernote and untick your idea so you know you've not used it yet. So those are the basics of how I use Evernote to store all of my content ideas. For me, it's a really great way to see all of my ideas at a glance and what I want to work on for the month ahead. If you want to hear more organisational tips like this, or you want to find out more about the different systems that I have in place for my blog and business, then please give this video a thumbs up or hit the subscribe button below because there's so much more to come, especially if you leave a comment and say that you're excited about those things. So let me know. That's all for today, bloggers. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it as always. Remember to organise and plan out your ideas so you can get one step closer to a breakthrough. See you next time.